Hi, my name is Mike Clark. Today we're going to inlay acrylic into this cabinet door. We put the transfer mask uh, on the actual wood to prevent any staining or any side burning that would happen when we're cutting the piece out. I've also marked the center of the actual cabinet because we're going to work our we're going to place our image in the middle of the board and work out from there. The crosshair on the screen is actually our laser head. So all I need to do with the artwork now is grab my image and then snap it to the middle of the laser head on the screen. The other thing I'm going to do when I'm cutting out, I'm actually, instead of focusing to the top, I'm actually going to focus to the middle of the wood so that the problem is, is if I focus to the top, as I go through the actual cabinet door itself, I'll start to go out of focus. Focusing to the middle allows the beam to be consistent on the top and the bottom. I'll get a lot better cut doing it that way. In the Trotec driver, what I can do is actually program in the Z depth of that distance from the top to the middle and the table will automatically move up to that setting. To set in the special Z setting, I'm going to go into where my power and speeds are set and I'm going to set my Z offset to minus 0.125 which basically means the table is going to come up closer to the lens and I'm going to do that for both colors. The reason I'm going to use two colors here is because there are, I could in the software say work from the center out, but I, I don't like typically doing that. I'd rather have the software, can, I'd rather be able to control the, the order of engraving. So I'm going to tell the red to go first, the blue to go second, and as you can see my inside cuts are red and they'll go first, and my outside cuts are blue and they'll go second. So the other thing we have to consider when we're actually doing the cut here is that you'll notice that the flat layer is actually lower than the edge. The problem I have is that if the machine goes back to the home position, I'm going to catch the edge of my door here. So I, I want to tell the software, or the machine through the software, that I don't want it to go back to home position so that it actually won't catch the edge of the door. That's quite easy to do in the Trotec software. All I need to do is go up to Settings, Options, Process Options, and basically I can have it return to start position, move back to the zero, which I don't want it to do, or no moves. I'm going to say return to the start position, so it's going to start in the center and then come back to the, start, to the center of the uh, start position. Say OK, and that's basically it. When we cut out the, the wood, what ends up happening is that the actual image becomes a little bit larger than the original image that we had in the software due to the kerf or the cutting width of the laser beam. To make our acrylic the same size, what we need to do is increase the size of the acrylic by whatever the kerf was on the wood cutout. We do this using the contour cut in CorelDRAW. In this case, I used a 5,000 offset with the contour tool. The pieces just snap right in. For those that don't, we use crazy glue. 